Remember Martin Shkreli, the guy who rose the price of a life-saving anti-parasitic drug diaphragm from $1,350 to $750? Well, a federal judge revoked his $5 million bail when he posted a $5,000 bounty for a lock of Hillary Clinton's hair. Shkreli is charged with eight counts of securities fraud. I am completely okay with this. He violated the NAP. Good work, state. In College Park, Maryland, and other local municipalities, the local city government, that is to say, the local status clergy, has decreed that all residents, including non-citizens, be allowed to vote. What's happening is that the Democrat Party in the U.S. is going, People hate us and are rejecting socialism. What do we do? Maybe we should look inwards, try to figure out what parts of our totalitarian ideas lack merit, while appealing to people intelligently, rather than just their base animal emotions. Maybe putting up that corruptocrat Harridan for president wasn't the best idea? Nah. Let's just import more Democrats in the third world. I'm sure if they bring their failed culture to America, it'll make our communities just perfect in wonderful places, and definitely will not transform the country into the third world banana republic hellholes they were fleeing from in the first place. Especially if we give them the right to vote. You might think it's just a few towns, and these non-citizens are only allowed to vote in local elections, but that's just how it starts. In a few years, it'll be state law and Maryland will become a one-party state, even more so than it is already, somehow. Congress will eventually pass a law, or some activist judge will make an imperial decree that these state laws should allow non-citizens to vote in federal elections as well as state and local. But the Republican faction of the high priesthood of statism will block such a bill, right? <laughs> you actually believe this? You deserve to have your vote canceled out. Then other municipalities in dark blue states like California or New York will start to consider it. This is how it spreads all over the country. Before you know it, Kim Jong-un is going to be able to vote in the U.S. presidential election if he happens to be addressed in the U.N. in New York City in November. All this will happen unless... We push back against this, and hard. The consequences of not doing so is increased taxation, more coercive government control over your life and your children, a stagnant economy that will only become more stagnant. Spread the word about this. I want it everywhere. I want nothing short of a total national backlash against these clowns.